Hey guys, today we're going over tuning basics and how to tune your print to get the perfect part every single time. So the next setting we're gonna look at is your layer height. Most printers come equipped with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and they're standard printing at about 0.2 millimeter layer height. Now this is about 50% of the nozzle, which is the ratio you'll normally see. There's also a lot of experimentation going on with flat nozzles and wider or skinnier nozzles printing wider stuff. So we won't get too deep into this, but if you stick with the automatic settings, it's usually a good starting point. Now you can also go down from 0.2 millimeters to 0.1 millimeters or 0.05 millimeters. Most machines these days are capable of this. The difference is gonna be how long it takes to print your part, because if you go from 0.2, you're doubling your layers when you go to 0.1, so it's gonna take twice as long. It's also gonna look much nicer, but it's sort of a trade-off there, and it comes down to preference. Do you want a part quickly or a part to look perfect? So the trade-off here is really resolution and quality versus the amount of time it takes to print. So if you want a part fast and you want it quick and it just needs to work, then you can go with much higher layer heights and it'll be great. Uh, but if you want a part to be fit and finished and just perfect and beautiful, then you'll probably want to go with the lower layer heights, assuming you have time to let that go. We've seen prints go three, four, five days at these lower layer heights, but man, they come out crisp and beautiful. If you're just starting out and you're a beginner at this, then we recommend stick with the standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle and 0.2 millimeter layer height. Now that's half of your nozzle width. So if it's 0.4, 0.2, good to go. Just start there and you'll be good. We like doing a lot of stuff with resolution. We played with big nozzles and small nozzles and wide line heights and short line, you know. So there's a lot that can be done. There's a lot that's not documented and it's a really open space for new discovery. So we're discovering and trying new things every day. But if you're beginning out, just stick with the standard, start there, learn your way up and then start experimenting. Whether you've got a $300 printer or a $30,000 printer, it's always going to come down to the material and the tuning process. Thanks for watching. We're going to be releasing a lot more tips, tutorials, and guides on how to print these high performance thermoplastics. So hit subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next video.